Hello everyone and welcome to Spiritfarer. I chose this game instead of the others I had in mind because I actually really felt like I needed it with the whole thing that's been just the whole thing that's been going on in in November. I lost a family member and one of another family got ma married within like a week of each other. And of course, death is unforeseen in many ways. I just felt really ambivalent about everything. And I started playing a little bit, tiny bit of Spirit Fair again. And I could just, I could just feel it felt, made me feel calmer uh, throughout the week. So I haven't played a massive amount because apparently, apparently when I looked at the Steam uh, library, I'm actually missing two characters, so I have actually not 100%ed this game. Which, um, my mind is already going like, how dare you, Ray? How dare you not complete a game? So, uh, so, and one of them is actually a new DLC character, so I'm actually looking very much forward to meeting her or him. I didn't really go, I think it was, it must be a her if it's Beatrice, which her name was. However, that means there's also an update to the game, which I would love to see. And for some reason, all the updates seem to come to the PC before it comes to the console, so... I decided to play it on the, on the PC. The other reason is that my capture card, or my capture card for my consoles and OBS does not seem to get along anymore. Neither does my tablet and when I played app games, which is all in one I did not need last weekend when I tried to record something, so I got a bit peeved and decided to just let it go. Go into my little moody corner and then relax the rest of the weekend because I was not in the mood anymore. And I think a lot of people could feel like that when things just pile up off just unwanted things. However, let's uh, let's just select this little game. I like also they have added uh, multiple save files because when Spiritfarer came out first time on Switch as just downloadable, uh, there was only one save file. <laughs> and if you really wanted to go through it a couple of times and then see maybe things from another angle, yeah. I don't know. I like there's multiple save files, especially also then you can share with a sibling or whatever if you played with siblings. Your sibling can have each file and such. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> I forgot it. That was how he looked. <laughs> It's been a bit since I started the game over, so... Or tried it out the first time, so... Actually, both of them. Ah, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been. Would it not? I'm Charion. The spirit fairer. I know he does say them, but he says them in such a low voice you hardly hear what he says. So I'm giving him a voice today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in an odd mood today because I just start out the day with having a massive migraine and I'm still recuperating from it. And it's like a bit so-and-so today, but at least I'm functional enough to sit at the computer, so I really wanted to play something. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. So our main character is called Stella. 
Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What is his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. Oh, I love the Daffodil. Especially with the color scheme. Very good name for a cat. <laughs> I see. You two will share the burden then. And take over from me. And if you hear a cat in the background, I have my own personal daffodil next to me because Boris is one of those pe one of those kitties that doesn't really like when I have blackouts or migraines. So every time I have him, he he doesn't leave my side at all. No matter where I go, I have a tail. So if you hear a cat purring or mewing or something just next to me, that's why. <laughs> so I have my own personal daffodil for this adventure. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit pharaoh. Uh, listen, child. <laughs> listen. Your task here will be far from easy. But simple nonetheless. Go fetch stray spirits stranded on the islands. And when they are ready, Bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Which is kind of symbolic in some way. You share their burdens and requests and what they have to go through and you're there for them to with the very last until you bring them here, basically. It's also very interesting with the mythology about the spirit fairer. Because usually when you find, you think of a ferryman, you think of Greek mythology, right? <laughs> it's, the, it's the most common go-to. But if you're from Denmark, there's also a folklore ferryman as well. And that's usually when fishermen goes out to sea, or the fishermen or people just work at sea, they would carry either two silver earrings or two silver coin, or I do believe some also carry a silver chain. So they can pay the ferryman to come back home if they die at sea, that their body will wash up or get back to shore so their loved ones will still with, like, it's really sad to hear it like that, but it's kind of a folklore that goes way back in Denmark. It's just the the ones left behind would know what happened and they can put that to rest and therefore you pay the ferryman to return home. In the physical being, anyway. So, so there's like two meanings for that to me as a Dane playing this game, just so you guys know. <laughs> Just random facts blowing at you right there. That's okay. <laughs> I think you'll survive it. Um, at least I'm feeling a lot better, so I'm rampily as well. I haven't been playing. I haven't re been recording for like ages now, so now I'm just a rambling little plop. <laughs> plop. What does Nanny call me? A plop? Yeah, probably that. <laughs> so. This big round bridge over there is the Ever Door. The Alpha where everything starts. The Omega where everything ends. This is where all quests get completed and where existing meets its threshold. Oh. There's no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, I have something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here. And the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what? What are you? <laughs> no, Daffodil, what are you doing? 
How highly inappropriate, young young man. <laughs> oh look, Daffodil is playing with it. Don't break the Everlight. No, the kitty is just playing with it like a ball. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's just do that. <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. Oh, look at Daffodil. Uh -oh. I did, I did the boo boo. <laughs> I think Daffodil probably actually makes a comic relief to this game a lot. Make it feel not so serious all the time. <laughs> Hope is a flame, a light that never falters, and the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there are no greater duty than this one. Oh dear. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try and keep your focus. Take one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit favors, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I'm gone, you have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. Wait, are you saying there's a possibility that we will... Uh-oh. We have to swim to shore, people. You might find one not too far from here. If you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It is time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. Let me see. Oh dear. Okay. It's not the most. What you can call it, um. <laughs> what are you going? Job appliant? Like a job employment information board? <laughs> oh well. We made it to shore. And can we jump? I'm just going to try and see, figure out how the controls are here. Okay, spaces jump. And you run with A, W, D, and S. Okay. So that's the most important things so far. Yeah, use... You, I could have used that a second before. Press space bar to jump. Hold space bar to jump higher. Yeah, Boris, I know. He's pawing me right now. <laughs> this is most inconvenient when you're trying to play a game. Okay, so let's see. Uh, no, that did not go. Oh, right here. Okay, right there. There's someone right there. And there we go. Hold V by jump. Oh, I see. There we go. And then we just go down. Hold S and spacebar to jump down. Okay. I've only used control on this, so using keyboard might actually be a little confusing. However, let's press E and talk with this lassie. Stella? Uh, no! <laughs> yeah, let's get away from her. <laughs> she knew our name. <laughs> oh no. Stella. Is it really you? Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Mm -hmm. 
You look good. And Daffodil, and Daffodil is here too, I see. We have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> the cat did not like that. Co oh, he fell asleep. <laughs> I was about to say the cat did not like that comment. <laughs> ah, it might not be obvious after all. Mm. It's me, Gwen. <gasps> oh, she looks so happy. Good thing if you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means. Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm -hmm. You are he the one replacing. You wanna go? Okay. Boris is poking the mic right now. I'm sorry. Kitty's in the office is kind of difficult sometimes. <laughs> but it's cozy nonetheless. You are you are the one replacing Charion. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up with up here by accident. I've been stuck in this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a good combination. I would agree to that. Funny, I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Hmm. Of course. See the boat over there? Oh dear. Yeah, it does seem a little, um, up for a bit, like, up for repair, I guess. That's the one. It's obviously slightly, sh slightly shabby. But let's commandeer it. I wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay. Meet me on the deck over there. Mm. I'll explain it all. So she is um, basically the tutorial um, character you will meet. It's very common with mm, games nowadays that there will always be a sort of tutorial around, which is... It's nice with a holding hand, but sometimes it, sometimes it makes sense to not have it. Here, I'm a little 50-50 on it, because... Especially since now I'm playing on keyboard, I don't know the controls and such. So, let's talk to her. Mm. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh dear, the light is so sharp. Wonderful. I'm not the one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Yeah. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm. Good. As And you as the spirit fairer, welcoming astray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Oh, so she's a dear. Well, if she's a dear friend, she will be dear. Of course she will be a dear, right? <laughs> ah, please don't. No. Ray, stop. No. No punsies. I'm not good at them. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. You need, you need to come here and give me a hug. Personal connection. Okay, we made her happy, but how do you give hugs? How do you give a hug? Ah, I see. Hug. I might actually have to go and fetch a control, or maybe that would make it much easier. Because there's a lot of moving about with the controls and the keyboard. Hmm. Either that I'm just accustomed to the keyboard. <laughs> uh, no, the controller, not the keyboard. That's the one that we're having troubles with. Much better. Mm. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Yes, of course we should go and have a look at this chaos. However, 
I think we'll be doing that in the next one. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.